Hello, I would like you to show the computer program I made in Delphi 4 to simulate the movement of charged particles in a ma magnetic field. It has not been finished yet, but it seems to be working already, more or less. A lot of variables can be changed. In the shown video, the program generated 30 electrons. With an initial speed of 1.9, 10 to the 6 meter per second. We neglect relativistic effects. The cost of magnetic field pointing upwards B1 goes in the center of the uh, tube and increasing a little bit towards the sides and up and down. There it is a little bit higher. The earth magnetic field is neglected. And the space is considered to be vacuum. Uh, in the program, we calculate the acceleration every dt is 1.59 10 to the minus 12 seconds. If we have an electrogram of 1 nanoampere, for example, it would produce every 100 dt an electron. In the video, we slow down the generation of the electrons in order to get a nice circle using only 30 electrons that were injected in, due to the magnetic field they circulate in a circular orbit near the top three boron atoms charge plus one ions are generated there with an initial velocity zero and near the bottom, the bottom, three hydrogen atoms, ions, are generated, also with an initial velocity zero. And the, pro the program has been running for a couple of hours. And you see that they have been moved towards the center, the positive ions, because of the negative, uh, accumulated negative charge of the electrons in the center. Here we see the hydrogen ions, and here you see the boron ions, one, two, three, and this is for hydrogen. Um, every dt, every small amount of time dt, we do the following. We take particle wall, position x and y z, and with the velocity px, pi, pz. And for that particle, we calculate the electric and the magnetic field produced by all the other particles, particle 2, 3, etc., that have been generated, plus the constant magnetic field. This electric and magnetic field exerts a force on this particle, number 1. And with this force, its new velocity and position is calculated. Then, for particle number 2, the electric and magnetic field is calculated, produced by particle 1, 3, 4, etc. This electric and magnetic field exerts a force on particle 2. And with this force, its new velocity and position is calculated, etc. And to calculate the forces, we use the Coulomb's uh, Coulomb's law, the Biot Savard law, and the Lorentz force without a relativistic effect. In an early version of the program, I observed that the electrons were all the time getting more, obtaining more kinetic energy and finally flying out of orbit. Like this, more and more and more. And Because the program is an approximation, I guess. Therefore, I introduced a procedure that is checking all the time the total kinetic energy of the electrons, and when it becomes too big, the difference between the initial kinetic energy of all the electrons and the present kin um, kinetic energy of all the electrons becomes more than 1, 10 to the minus 14 G, then it reduces the speed of all electrons in the so the total kinetic energy of the electrons is checked 
and remains constant between layers. Actually, accelerated charged particles will lose energy. See the Lamour formula. For electrons moving in a circle and with 100 electron volt kinetic energy, they lose about 0.1% in 1 seconds. But we will neglect this for the moment. Why I made this program? Now because I became interested in a device called Fuser. This is a device that uses an electric field to accelerate ions to conditions suitable for nuclear fusion. The problem with the fuser, however, is it uses a fixed grid in the middle to produce a negative voltage drop towards the center. Of the positive ions that are accelerated to the center, many of them collide with this grid causing heating of it and loses. This is why until now not any fuser did produce a net energy, although they did produce a nuclear fusion. In this computer program simulation we do not have a fixed grid, but only three moving electrons in a vacuum, a fixed magnetic field. What I fear however is that the electrons will spread out. I saw this already happening in the program in a particular configuration and after letting the program work in a couple of days. So all the time new electrons must be generated, I suppose, causing also a lose of energy. Perhaps I will continue working on the program and doing further experiments, trying out various configurations, changing the magnetic field, the speed of electrons, uh, etc. And maybe I could make it a little bit faster. And yeah. A little bit of problem is that the program is quite slow, and if too many particles are produced, it becomes very, very slow. I did also some thinking, brainstorming about fuses, etc., and made some, yeah, quite simple calculations. See my website, fagetal.com. The egg of Columbus, where everybody looking for, I did not find a weather until now. Thank you for watching and listening to readings.